everyone, this is Lisa and welcome to my channel. In the last video, we talked about colors and how to pick colors. And this time we're gonna be very specific and we're gonna pick the palette to work on a specific image. In this case, I've picked this horse and I've named him Pickle Bean and you'll soon see why. So the first thing I did is put Mr. Bean into colorpicker.com. I'm using this instead of my phone so I can discuss this with you. So the first thing we're gonna do is have a good look at him overall. Where you want a highlight color, a base color, and a shading color, as long, along with a few other colors to support. We wanna make sure we don't have too much on our palette, and we'll explain that as we go. So let's look at the base color first. If we look at this, this right here is a great base color, right there. So that's the base color we're gonna use, and we'll get into that in a second. For a highlight color, I like this color over this color a little better. This is more pink. So I'm going to pick one of these colors. And for the shade, I'm going to go right into where the muscles are and pick that color. I'm also going to look at the highlight of the white and the low light of the white. I'm going to look at this tail over here and the highlights of the mane. So as I discussed in the last channel, I use those numbers, this number right here, in the pick tool, I entered it here, and then I pushed get mix. And from there, I have built a palette, and this is Bean's palette. And you can see in the palette, his main color is pickled bean, and that's why I called him pickled bean. Now, if you look at each color, just rolling this down, at the bottom, you get your percentages. So let's go look at the sheet I've created. I've done that with every one of the colors. So I've copied this all into a Word document. And if I'm scrolling up here, I've taken every color and taken the shades and tints. Now to get those shades and tints, I was in imagecolorpicker.com when I was picking my colors. So I have the color. Then if I go here, here is my shades and tints. And a shade is if you add black and a tint is if you add white. And this is very important information so we can see what we can do with the colors we mix. So now back in my spreadsheet, you can see I've got the highlight color. This is the color with what happens if I add black and white. This is the middle tone. This is the shadow, the main highlight, the tail base, and the white markings. And you can see along here, you have so much intermix. When we have these colors, we're gonna be able to do everything we need to paint this horse. So now that I've confirmed the colors I want, I went into each of those colors, as I showed you in the last video, and I pulled out this information. So this is my body highlight mix, my main color mix, my shadow mix, etc. This way I have what I need to start going to my palette and playing with it. Of course, you can always go into your paint collection and just find these colors already made up. However, let's assume you don't have some of these colors or all of these colors, and you really want to mix from scratch. And I mean, this is what a lot of people do to get the colors the way they want. Now remember, this recipe is just a suggestion. It will depend on the quality of the paint you're using, the actual color of the paint you're using, because there's many cyans the magentas and the yellows, they can all be slightly different. However, with this, start slowly, start light, and then add, work with your palette and play with it. it. Everybody will be different with the way they work. And what you're gonna do is work on the one color and with a horse, I would suggest just doing the main body color, the shadow, and the highlight to start. And work these three colors. And you're gonna have to do it by eye. So work on this one and then match it up to Copperfield. Same with the middle one. So you have these three on your uh, palette. Now once we start the next video, I will be prepping and priming the little model and we will actually start mixing the paint to get started. So thanks for joining me and join me in the next one as we start working on the little miniature with these colors.